as sexy as the Daytona line is, with its nicely rounded curves and slightly nose down stance, it is far from a vanity piece. Wind tunnel tested body panels tie the front of the bike together, from the windshield bearing upper fairing down to the functional chin fairing. Although the Daytonas present a fair entry point to penetrate the air, those panels quickly taper off to nothing, leaving the rear end of the bike looking much more like a naked bike, fitting, considering that the 675 was originally designed as a full-on naked ride and the fairings got added later in the process. Naturally, the engineers didn't miss an opportunity to make use of the pressure wave at the front of the bike so the mouth formed by the fairing edge channels that pressurized air right down the gullet. Make no mistake, the air isn't any more powerful than the base Daytona, they both run the exact same engine, but some variations in the suspension make it a bit more track friendly, and some carbon fiber trim and other small details set it apart visually from the base model just a bit.